how we organize the shelves for you guys. Top row is all your coronary items, starting from your coronary dock wire, when you want to extend a short wire to the long. Then these are all your 014 coronary wires. And these are your coronary microcatheters and specialty guideliner. Next row down is all your peripheral wires, starting with 035s, then moving over to all your 018 peripheral wires, to all of your 014 peripheral wires. And your microcatheters for the peripheral are one shelf below. So starting with the coronary wire line, generally speaking, when you're looking at your wires, they all have a length indicated on the box, either long or short. If they're short, they may eventually need to be extended to a longer wire and then you need your coronary dock wire to extend a short wire. So that's placed right here. Also, you're going to see the outer diameter of the wire, 0.014. That'll be labeled on all your boxes and all coronary wires are going to be 0.014 or smaller, but you do want to look for that. Next, you're going to see tip load on some wires Manufacturers will put it on there for you, such as Miracle 12 is a 12 gram tip load. Fielder doesn't have it on the box, but it is a 0.8 gram tip load. I put it for you. Confianza is a 9 gram tip load. Grand Slam 0.7, etc. So if the box doesn't have it on the box, we've written it on for you. To the far right are your microcatheters your Corsairs that will help support any wire that you're delivering in coronary anatomy. And to the far right is the guide liners that will help give you more guide support inside your guide. So I'm gonna add about the escalation of your wire choices. The physicians will always start with a wire that is under one gram of tip load. That's how much force do they put on the wire for it to buckle on the end. That would be things such as your Iron Man has a 1.0, although you don't start with an Iron Man because it's a super supportive body, it's for device delivery. So they'll often start with a BMW at 0.5 or 0.6 gram, or a Pro Water at 0.8, etc. When they use the wire escalation algorithm, they then go up in either to a tapered tip wire, such as the Fielder XT or the Confianza, and they go up in tip weight, such as Miracle 6, Miracle 12, or Confianza 9. But you would never start with a high load tip load wire. Okay, so after we've crossed a lesion and the dock needs more support for device delivery, we move to a wire that has a low tip weight but a supportive body such as an Iron Man it has a low tip weight but a very supportive body this is a short Iron Man or a long Iron Man 300 centimeters or a Grand Slam again super supportive body for device delivery but low tip weight okay on the peripheral shelf physicians may want to start with an 035 wire which are here long and short versions, or they may want to start with an 018 system, which are here, or an 014 system. In either event, whichever wire they're starting with, again, you start with a low tip weight, such as the command is a 2.8 gram tip weight. Then they would escalate, just like you do in the coronaries, to a heavier weighted wire if you're not getting across a lesion, such as a Connect Flex that's four gram, or a Treasure 12 that is 12 grams of force. So we're always starting with low tip weight and escalating until we get across the lesion. Finally, when you need more support of any of your wires and to provide a nice base of operations to get across your lesion, you can add an 014, 018, or 035 microcatheter to support your wire. So Matt made for you guys a quick cheat sheet, which is great. It gives you the category of wire, whether it's an 014 workhorse, an 014 extra support, an 014 specialty wire, or an 018 workhorse wire, or an 018 specialty wire. And then across the top, you'll see the product name, the outer diameter, you'll see the tip load, 
and then you'll see the column of what type of coating is on the wire. Very helpful. Thanks for making that, Matt. The Treasure 12 is a wire you guys have, which is a 12 gram tip load wire. Many doctors love this wire. You can see it has a round nose to it. The next generation of that wire is called the Halbert. And the Halbert is also 12 gram force, but has a microcone that's shaped like a V instead of a rounded, so that it can catch in between the nooks and crannies of the lesion and catch on instead of bouncing off. It also has the Act One technology, which creates great one-to-one -one torque transmission. And the highest tip weight wires on the market is the Estado 20 and then the 40. Those are the tip gram weights, and they also taper down to 0.009 with a tiny tapered tip used for drilling through a lesion. So another key attribute to be aware of and the physician knows as well is the coating style. Hydrophobic wires do not have slippery coatings on them, so they have an intended purpose. The next level, hydrophobic is non-coated, it's really usually silicone. Then you have hydrophilic wires, which are more slippery and are wires with coatings on them. The third next highest level of lubricity would be a wire that has a polymer sleeve plus hydrophilic coating. That's the most lubricious wire that there is. Okay. Some tips that can help you in any challenging coronary case where the guide is kicking out or the wire doesn't want to cross the lesion is by adding a Corsair microcatheter, which gives additional push to the wire. The other thing you can do is add a guide liner inside your guiding catheter, again, just to aid and support and push. In the peripheral, you can do the same technique, which is you would add a peripheral microcatheter over any peripheral wire, making sure you have the correct size, whether it's 014, 018, or 035, and it gives the wire additional push to cross the lesion. Where, where are we going? Where is the future for us? Where are we trying to accomplish here? And without the... Yeah. The future would be in an ideal lab to have the right tool for any physician to be successful in all anatomies. Challenging anatomies, need the right tools. So an additional plan for your portfolio would be to add higher tip gram weight wires that are tapered for the really tough calcified arteries such as an Estado 20 and an Estado 40. And those are shown here. Not only do they have a higher tip load with penetration force increasing, but they have a tapered tip. So this will get through the most calcified lesions, necessary component to any portfolio in the periphery. Additionally, the next generation wires of Asahi, keeping in mind our peripheral wire line has gone through an evolution, are the wires such as Halbert, Gaia PV, that have the ACT-1 technology. ACT-1 is a series of six wires wrapped around the core center of the wire, which enables one-to-one -one torque transmission. What the physician's doing outside the patient body transmits directly one-to-one -one inside the body, making torturous anatomy much easier to navigate. Does our current treasure have that technology? Current treasure does not. The current treasure is the early generation. Um, any wire that we come out with in the future will have the Act-1 technology, such as Halbert.